Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, your email using Windows Live Mail. Now this is the default mail client that comes with um, Windows 7. So I'll just show you, that once you open it up, this is what you'll see. Um, and what you want to do is go to Accounts and click the Email button. So it will ask you for your email address. So just type that in there or copy and paste it. Um, and again, your password. And uh, we recommend copying and pasting your password just to avoid typing errors. Um, make sure you, that remember this password is ticked. Choose your display name. This can be anything you want, however you want it to be displayed on, email, on your emails. And then tick manually configure server settings and then click next. Um, on this screen, you can leave that as POP3. For your server address, um, we provided this information for you in the um, information we sent across to you. So just um, look where it says um, it'll be outgoing and ingoing server addresses you need. They're both the same. It will be mail dot and then your the rest of your web address here. You can leave that as it is. Um, you don't need that one as well. You can leave that as it is as well. But where it says log on username, you need to put your full email address in there. For the server address, it's going to be the exact same as this. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it in there. For the port number, you want to change that to 26, and you have to tick the requires authentication. Go ahead and click next, and it will say it's been added. So there you go. You've added your email um, successfully. But what you want to do is we have to check that it's actually working successfully. I'm just going to delete that email because that's from a previous example. Um, so what you want to do is go back home and click the email message button. What you want to do is send a, um, a test message uh, to me. So go ahead and put my email address in there. Um, uh, you should have that, the standard email address you use to contact me. And then for the subject, just put test email. And then again, in the, in the body, you can just put test email. And go ahead and click the send button. And once you send that, once you send that, you then go and need to click the send and receive button. And what it should do is it, it should successfully send the email for you. And it should, um, I will then respond to that email as quickly as possible as soon as I get it, just saying message success successfully received or something like that. And you should successfully receive that as well. Um, if you get any pop-up errors, the most common problem is that the password has been typed in incorrectly. That's the most common thing. So make sure you copy and paste that rather than trying to type it in manually because they can be quite complicated and um, password errors are really, really common. So, um, and if you have any problems at all, do feel free to contact me. Um, I'm happy to help. Windows Live Mail can be a bit finicky, so do get in touch if you have any problems. And that's how you set up Windows Live Mail.